Hi, good morning. Today is Sunday and I just want to go ahead and share some items that I got from Amazon. And Amazon is like a non-ending purchasing pit. <laughs> I feel like you can't go a week without purchasing something. So if you're interested, I'm going to show you some electronic stuff, makeup stuff, and a really cute scarf that I got from Amazon. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So the first thing I wanted to show you all was this. It's an Apple pencil sleeve. And it comes with two. And it fits the second generation only. And so I just recently purchased a new iPad for my business. And so this is what it looks like just on its own. And it comes with two. I ordered it for the pink, but it actually came with the blue as well. Let me go ahead and put it back in here just to keep it safe. Which is really nice because if, if your other one gets dirty over time, you have an extra one. And these pins are white. So I bought it so that if I ever had makeup or anything on my hands, that I would be able to replace it and not have to worry about getting the actual pin dirty. But it's really nice and it does allow it to still charge on my iPad. This is it here. And so as you can see, it allows it to still be magnetic up here. And I'm pretty sure that it still allows it to work on notes. So you just tap it and then you're able to write. And then I have it set on where it turns it into text. So that's really nice. I really do like this. And I like that I can, oh, see, it told me it was already charged at 100%. So I really do like this keyboard. And it's not Amazon. <laughs> Just since I'm already here, I'm going to show you all. But it's, it's white as well. But what I like is that there's a mouse landing on this one. My other one had a keyboard, but this one actually I can move the cursor around with my finger, which is really nice. I really like this one and I wanted to upgrade because I take a lot of notes for my business and sometimes I just want those converted into text and I like that I can write on this in the notes part and it types it up for me, being that it can read my writing. The other thing that I got from Amazon, which is not related to work or anything, was this makeup sponge storage holder. And it came a little frazzled, as you can see. But I ordered one to just carry in my bag. And of course, I got it in pink as well. It's so cute. But it's just, it wouldn't have damaged it if, because it's just silicone but you just take it apart like that. It's almost like a pill and you can put your sponge in there and then you can leave it either big or you can make it go all the way down. And it has these little ridges where it's very breathable. In fact, I'm gonna go to my beauty room and put a sponge in here so I can show you. So here we are in my beauty room and you'll have to excuse my sponge cause it is dirty, but here is the sponge that I usually use and you can just put it in there, see how it fits. I want to say you could probably even put two. I'm just going to use this different shape one. And then also maybe even the baby one and put it there on the side. And you can just close it, see, and have it like that. And as I mentioned, it has these openings here, which is nice because I'm trying to see if it'll come out. No, it won't come out. So if they are a little damp, they can breathe in there. That's really nice. I really do like that for the amount of sponges that you can put in here. It's nice. And obviously it is going to get full of makeup. So the inside will probably get full of makeup at some point. I thought that was really 
a nice little container for your beauty sponges for travel. The other thing that I got from Amazon, which I was surprised to see this, and I really wanted this because, as you know, I've been putting scarves on my hats. And I saw this one, and I thought, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> I can't remember how much it was, but it was under $20. Christian Dior has a scarf like this that is called Oblique Mishka Scarf. And obviously this one is not authentic. And this one is not silk. This is 100% polyester. And so I thought that was so cute, like to put in your hair or to put around a hat. But I'm gonna show you the one that Christian Dior has. And it looks very similar. So there it is. I really thought that when I ordered it, that it wasn't gonna ship. Because a lot of times that happens with stuff like this. But it's really pretty. And then it came with also a little necklace. So it kind of shows examples there on how to wear it. And then also here. And then, I don't know. This must have just been free with the purchase. Just a little star necklace. Just kind of a little, I don't know, free gift. Pretty cheap looking, I guess. <laughs> but it was for free, so you can't complain. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. And I'll put the link down below for this. So I really haven't been feeling my healthy self lately. I don't know. I went to go do my annual exams and found out that I just have high cholesterol and triglycerides. So I'm really trying to not eat sweets and educating myself on what has cholesterol and what doesn't have cholesterol but my numbers weren't too bad but i felt really bad like i didn't feel like myself i felt like i was already experiencing some of the symptoms of having high cholesterol like the pain in my chest and numbness in my feet. I mean, I talked about how I was wearing those compression socks. And so, you know, see, I put it on my hat. You can still kind of see the blue. <laughs> but yeah, just I just thought that would be cute for my hats or just to wear in a ponytail or something. That's really, really cute. This color looks like a, almost looks like a burgundy to me, like a burgundy color. And it might be a brown, but it definitely looks like a burgundy color to me. Yeah, it looks like a burgundy and a cream and some black in there. So I think even with that side, it looks really pretty. Well, going out to eat has been <laughs> just... I don't know what to eat anymore. I know I need to cut out dairy and I know I need to cut out sweets. And sweets is the hardest thing for me. So hopefully we're going to run some errands because I ordered some caramel chocolate Oreo covered apples before I knew <laughs> that I couldn't eat. But actually apples are good for you and there's not a lot of cholesterol in caramel and actually dark chocolate is good for you. So um, actually the Oreos didn't have cholesterol either, which I found surprising. And it's amazing how quickly it can add up because I think an average woman can only have 487 milligrams of cholesterol. Let me ask Alexa. Alexa, what's the average intake of cholesterol for a woman? According to NIH.gov, the estimated daily intake of phytosterols and cholesterol was 489, median 
and 513 mean mg respectively so that got me to looking up a lot of things and i normally don't do cheese or anything like that but there's a lot of cholesterol in like there's 79 milligrams of cholesterol in a slice of cheese wow i couldn't believe that i was like what and when you start thinking about each thing that you put in your mouth that has cholesterol 79 is a lot and it doesn't leave you with much left for the day like that's just one meal so i think we're probably gonna grab a salad and maybe some fish that's what i can eat and i think it's okay to eat the candy apples i think if me and my husband split one I bought five. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I bought five. Five apples. And they're really good. But it's all in moderation. I just found everything's in moderation. But, you know, I, I'm a big time sweets person. So that is a little bit hard for me. But I bought some nuts and fruit and food to make salads and other items that I can eat that are going to be better for me and I started taking fiber and omega-3 and I ordered some edelberry from Amazon and I should get all that on Monday so I also ordered me a huge pill box because I'm going to need something to keep up with all of these vitamins that I'm going to start taking I'm a very holistic person so I believe in treating things as naturally as possible without prescription drugs. Now, I know I'm taking over-the-counter vitamins, but I'd just rather do that than to be on a regimen until I can get it under control. And so, yeah, it's, it's sad for me because, like I said, I like sweets. So I'm just going to have to figure something out. So I'll show you guys what we eat and the apples once we get them. I did also get a mammogram done and I should get the results from that pretty soon. And then I started incorporating some lemon water because they say that helps too. <laughs> so I'm doing the best I can to combat these lab findings. <laughs> Okay, I'm so hungry, I almost forgot. So, fried rice, no sauce, broccoli, bell pepper, mushroom, almonds, and there's one more vegetable that I got. I couldn't believe the almonds were on the vegetable. What was the other thing? I don't know, but I picked five vegetables. Oh, celery, it's right there, celery. It's really good. And then this is what's probably gonna give me the most cholesterol is the wontong soup, but I gave the actual wontongs <laughs> that are in the soup. I gave those to my husband and I just kept the liquid part. Chips, I like the chips. So that's what I ordered. Okay, so for some reason, <laughs> I got six of these instead of five, but this is what they look like. I'm gonna have my husband cut one up and open it. And this will be the first, I guess, treat I've had for the day. Okay, so here it is after I sliced it up. And you know, this change of eating is gonna be a work in progress, so. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.